Drop it, drop, drop it. it. Damn, oh, son, oh, where'd you find this? Hello. Hi, everybody. We're here. Uh, Got to check a little bit of the audio, make sure that we sound okay. Um, I'm look like I'm I'm booming. I look like I might be a little loud. You booming? I might be I might be booming. Drop it. Um, keep booming. I'll keep zooming. Yeah. Okay. That's that's the giant bomb promise. Um. Yeah. The sounds good enough. You're a little quiet. All right. Well, I can turn you up. Oh yeah, you are you are pretty quiet. Okay, I can turn you I'm up. But, pretty quiet. Yeah. Turn me up. But along with that, you get louder. Oh, wow. Blow me up. Uh, some of the What's, other stuff. Who's the blowmeuptom.com? Yeah, Tom. Yeah, yeah. Drop it. I uh, only know of him from Comedy Bang Bang. Yeah, as far as I'm concerned, that's not a real person, <laughs> but it's definitely a real person. So, uh, okay, I'm gonna start recording then, and then we'll be we'll be going. Okay. I'm just going to practice. Okay. All right, everybody. Here we are. It's time Damn, for Sam, the show. Son, where'd you find uh, this? Uh, um, I'm just going to lean on this soundboard. Yeah. yeah. School. I accidentally hit all the buttons on the soundboard at once. It's... It was, it was a bit, it was a bit much, but uh, hi everybody. Hello, well, I wonder. Yeah, hello. I got to filter this audio through so that you get it because I want to see what the Google Hangouts auto captioning does oh. with these soundboard samples. Um, hi, we're here. It's the after show. We're here to talk to you in chat, um, and uh, then. Yeah, that all only from chat. We've got some ideas about voicemails and audio routing and all the other stuff. If you are like uh, like getting close to up and running now, right? You you went back into the office and got yeah. shit, right? Yeah, I got this PC. I got an Elgato. I uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, I still need to do a little configuring, but I should be fully on board in a couple days here. Cool. Uh, what was what was San Francisco like? It was, I mean, like that area downtown, is like, no, there's not a lot of action there on the weekends anyway, but yeah, I think I saw like two people outside mm. on the street, um, which was, it's a low number. Yeah. Um, that's, that's not a high number. That's for sure. Uh, it was more less in San Francisco, especially downtown. Cause it is so unpopulated, but just like driving, from the East Bay over and like passing all the malls and seeing no cars in the parking lot. Oh, wow. An yeah. Empty flea market, just like real apocalypse shit. Yeah. It was, uh, I don't know. It, it like, it made it feel real in a way that I haven't gotten the, you yeah. know, I've uh, like, uh, December of 20, 17 no 2018 i had that surgery and i was out for you know a couple weeks right and oh man sad except you know yeah. i'm i'm able to walk around or whatever right but for, you know two weeks mm -hmm. uh, you're, you're chopping up a little bit here i'm chopping yeah hmm Hmm. hmm. Yeah. It's, put this knife away. Yeah. Maybe, maybe put put your blunt instrument down. I guess your that's a screwdriver. Was that a screwdriver? That was a screwdriver. It was a screwdriver. Okay. I'm going to to stop some processes. My partner's also on a, a meeting right now. So okay. Maybe. Ah, yeah. Stop. Uh, if you could stop downloading. So if you could stop I'm all the downloading. The car right now. Okay. Yeah. Don't download cars. Yeah, they. Okay. Yeah. Um, let's see here. I've got some, uh, some questions coming in from the chat. We got the ask a question button at the top of chat that you can use to ask us a question. That's how that works. Um, tactful ogre asks, uh, for you personally, how much of a selling point will potential backwards compatibility be on next generation consoles? Um, you know, there probably be some games like, I, th I think like now that I have so many digital games, like that I own on on PS4 and on Xbox Live that 
uh, knowing that those will come in is comforting because that get those get hard to play. The games in a box, like whatever physical games, like that's that's fine. I don't know, it's not that big a deal. But something about all of those games coming in, I think, uh, is comforting. I guess. Ben, you have any thoughts on that? <laughs> okay. As you started uh, to talk, it seized up, and then when it unseized, you were no longer talking. <laughs> I was saying you're you're chunking on my. Oh, end, see, so. maybe I'll just read your. Uh, maybe okay. Maybe I'll just get a okay. Okay, you can read my text. To yeah, I'll get the. I'll just get a capture of the. I'll. Yeah, I'll, I'll uh, um, I think I can just extend your window down. What was the question? Um. Uh, how much for you personally uh, does backwards compatibility in the new consoles matter? Um, I don't know. You know, I'm I'm relatively new to the PC game. Uh, I've only had it for a couple of years. I definitely prefer the simplicity of a console, especially having just recently gone. Um, but I don't know. Like this this new. There's really been no proof, no proof of concept yet. No, like, wow, you know? Yeah. Like, I understand why they are technically more impressive and what the capabilities will be, but I haven't had that moment of be like, oh my God, yes, this is why I need a new PlayStation. Yeah, I think that they're, they're just not at that point in the, in the reveals yet. Like, I think, you know, hopefully when they start talking about games and and showing games running on it it'll make more sense but yeah i think i think there are probably a, a number of people in a similar boat where it's just like i think in the back of your head you're like well yeah i'm gonna have to get a playstation eventually you know like you know there's gonna be fighting games i want to play there's gonna be stuff that you know just or is it gonna come out there that will make sense to own but um but it's just not quite there yet yeah uh i think that i think that makes uh that makes sense. Um, let's see here. Uh, Dave of 42 asks, do you have a favorite Animal Crossing resident yet? I got this dog named Bones. Uh, he's real cute. And he sold me when he said, like, I told him to come to my island. And he said, this is the happiest he's ever been since he found out what Paschetti was. Wow. And at that moment, I said, Bones. Oh, yeah uh i got my third villager i think i think they'll probably show up today because i went to an island yesterday and met sydney the koala oh. and that seemed like a strong addition i have genji who's i think a rabbit yeah i have genji as well oh, okay and i have someone else who i, I don't even remember who um, i don't remember what she is yeah i want some deer, sort of maybe yeah. yeah you want like a like a frog or something a frog or a lizard or yeah a gator oh a gator yeah gator be nice gator be real nice um <laughs> spider 335 says in doom eternal does it seem like it was missing the first level like what happened to samuel hayden and how did the slayer escape yeah there's it, it kind of starts in the middle a little bit which i think is fine for a story but as a sequel maybe seems a little weird i don't know yeah. did you did you like the story is so like I, I ended up reading the plot to doom 2016 last night and there was a lot of like oh right okay I like probably do that yeah like other than samuel hayden and and other than samuel hayden a lot of that plot had kind of faded out for me as as just backdrop and, and wasn't something i was like very clearly remembering but reading it back i was like oh, okay right yeah i definitely liked that stuff um and and it, it made a lot of it like it because playing this one without having gone back and read that stuff i jumped into into eternal going like wait i don't what the fuck's even going on like who like who are all these like whatever the the priests or whatever like do, okay i guess it's just doom dude out there murdering the game part two yeah i'm really not interested in the plot and i've started skipping through the cutscenes yeah i could see it, it. lost uh, me completely i'm there for the action i'm there for the gameplay yeah um i mean i'll i'll stick through it i, I kind of want to see 
the story stuff because I'm curious about where it gets to or, or doesn't get to or whatever. But but I could see that being a totally viable way to play that game. Just like whatever, I'm just just point me in the direction of murdering, and yeah. let me get out there and get to murdering. Um. Explosivo98 asks, have you ever poured an energy drink into a glass with ice and did it make, make it taste better? I, I've i never done that. I did that once. Sir, Drop it. Then looking at it, like actually looking at the energy drink is, I don't want to see what I'm drinking. It's always a weird color. It's never a normal color. Like, th- no energy drink is like a normal color. You always look at it and go, oh, okay. I got to put that in me because I need it. But, but all right. This is a little weird looking. No, I, I, don't, I don't like ice. I, I like it when the drinks are cold. Drop it. Drop, Drop it. it. Cold, but not with ice. Yes, exactly. Surround it with ice. Encase it in ice. But. What do you feel about a chilled glass? The chilled glass is all right. Yeah. I just, uh, if, if there's ice, I'm going to need a straw. I'm not out there ordering. I'm not going to a drive through and getting drinks with no ice. I'm not a lunatic. Uh, but that's where a straw is involved. So um, I don't want ice banging against my teeth. Who has time for that? Yeah. I don't have an ice maker. I'm not fancy. And also I'm not, uh, I'm not with it enough to make ice in the ice cube trays often enough to have ice readily. I just, I don't want ice. I don't want to deal with it. Abol- abolish ice is what I'm saying. Basically. It's what they should do uh, with ice. What I'm going to say is thank you for Explosivo for uh, reminding me of the time I listened to that Tenacious D album 14 times in a row in middle school. Yeah. That, that, I feel like that's a good time for Tenacious D. Drop it! Um. Huh. Uh, RGD, RG Draconic says, I pre-ordered Persona 5 Royal from GameStop simply for the Joker pin. And now that they've shuttered, they have both my $5 and my pin. What do I do? Now that is Joker's trick. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't know. You fucked. <laughs> yeah, basically. Um, That's what you get for enjoying Persona 5. Oh, shit. That's right. I beat that game and I don't, I don't think you made a good call. You well, gotta take the lot on that. They're adding stuff to it. Drop it, drop, drop it. it. Hell yeah. Hello? They they are they're adding stuff to it, right? Are you dragons on my? I'm just gonna make soundboard noises that look like the face you're making when it freezes up. We're freezing on each other real bad. Yeah, <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Maybe we'll just put this up as video and not as audio because I feel like without without the video and the subtitles uh it's not making a ton of sense um i I can't hear you yeah (laughs) go watch the stream no yeah use more of your bandwidth to watch the stream on twitch yeah um, um, but I'm not getting oh god no I yeah no, that's that's load up Twitch. Uh, you could use your phone. You could get off Wi-Fi. Use your phone to look at Twitch. That'd be te- another terrible way to do this. Computer, except this window. Hell, hell, yeah. yeah. Um, I chalk this up to uh, technology. Um, Do you see that that post about like the gamers are using up all the? There was somebody being really mad about gamers not logging off so people could watch Netflix. I will never log off. Um, yeah, fuck them. I don't know. Like, they, they slowed down PSN downloads in, in Europe to try to ease some of that strain as well. Um, but yeah, you know, everyone's stuck inside. Whatever, whatever they need to get them to stay inside, I'm all for. And hopefully the internet can hold out. But people saying, God, forget the video games because I need Netflix... Yeah, they can they can fuck off. Drop it. 
Drop it. Yoshi fan eight two three asks, "Who's a bigger villain, the Cyber Demon or the Sea Bass from Animal Crossing?" What's up with the Sea Bass? I don't know. I caught a Sea Bass, no problem. It didn't seem like that big of a deal, but I guess I killed a Cyber Demon too. So it's <laughs> maybe it's kind of a toss up. Um, let's take a few more questions here, and then yeah. maybe we'll we'll punch out of this. Because it's working so well. <laughs> um, let's see. Disappeared asks, y'all ever dry shampoo your cats? Absolutely not. I, I have no cat. Yeah. Would you ever dry shampoo your dog? No. What, what's the... I mean, I guess... I don't, I know this is like a weird old man take, but I don't think dry shampoo is real. I'm kind of, I, it's, I see it be used and I'm baffled by it. It's just like a spray powder that you'd put in your hair. It's, I feel like it's like for breezing your hair or something, right? It's <laughs> right. It's like for breezing instead of showering. Yeah. Maybe I should get into that. Maybe if I started for breezing my body, not going to lie. There are some days here. That I don't, that I've, I, I, I have not taken a shower today, for example. Yeah. I definitely like woke up yesterday or I was going to bed yesterday and like accidentally caught a whiff of myself and was just like, oh yeah, I, I, didn't, I should take a shower. I didn't, I didn't even like, and it's, it's, it's equally bad because it's not, I'm not showering and I'm not doing my like, I'm getting dressed every day, but I'm not doing my like leaving the house ritual, which is making sure I put on deodorant. Right. Yeah, you know, and so I'm just like missing both of those in a day, and it's just not a good smell. Yeah, I don't know. People talk a lot about uh, Chaser in the chat is saying like, "Oh, you got to keep maintain your routine." Like, I, I don't know that I agree. I I feel like I don't. It, it doesn't make me more productive, or like I don't feel bad because I'm grimy. I feel bad for stuff that's in here. Um, you know, it, it's a deeper, it's a deeper thing. Um, you down. I, yeah, I can, yeah I sorry yeah for stuff down there that i feel bad about um but yeah uh heat drive uh 88 says dry shampoo isn't like febreze it's a light powder that absorbs your hair's surface oil and then you brush or blow dry it off your head hmm. good it's to know yeah government eye off <laughs> trying to get you not to dry shower. shampoo oh. um yeah, I don't know. That that seems uh that that, that seems fake. Um Dave O42 says I think it's more for people who tend to have a standard office job. Yeah, I guess maybe yeah, if you had to like well, I don't know, like clothes are clothes, man. If if I as I was about to say like maybe it's more for people who have to put on a shirt and tie or something to go to work that maybe they've got more of a routine to maintain. Yeah. Whereas like I'm basically wearing clothes I could go to work in right now. Um, but I'm just not. How about that? Uh, Decoy Octopus X asks, how's your sleep schedule Drop been it. during this? Well, I mean, you probably, <laughs> how was your sleep schedule before this? Yeah, it's fucked up. It's, it's been, it's been, it's been bad for months. Actually, it, with the exception of last night, which was back to how it's been the two nights before that, uh, the baby slept in until seven and it was I, the best I felt in ages. It was just like, oh, I feel like clear headed in a way that I didn't know was possible. This is ridiculous. Like I, this everything, this will all, this will all be okay. This everybody stay inside. Everything will be fine. And then last night I didn't sleep for shit. And I'm right back in it, baby. I'm right back in it. Um, Captain Robert asks, what are some of the better fighting game soundtracks? Marvel two. Yeah, Marvel 2 is good. I like King of Fighters 98. I like actually uh, I think the Mark of the Wolves soundtrack is really good. Um, I need to I have I'm not as experienced with Mark of the Wolves, so. What I was thinking is that uh we should install Fightcade. Oh yeah. And try cool. to see how that works and do some do some fighting games, do some some off-book fighting games, some some of the other stuff out there that didn't have netcode originally. And see That's how right. that goes. Um, play some uh, Waku Waku Seven, three. yeah, some balls. 
just a four hour balls stream balls to the walls yeah you need some more dry shampoo for that uh carpe dmt asks how would a fighting game work in vr I'd, you know i think like a boxing game probably would or something right i don't know you know clash yeah yeah i don't know that that would be fun um i usually kind of want a specific thing out of a fighting game and it's you know a side view experience it's like precision <laughs> yeah yeah Control. precision yeah also um so maybe you just, yeah, maybe you're just standing at a 3D cabinet and <laughs> hyper fighting is running on it. And that's how you do fighting games in VR. Kind of speaking of that, you know what I thought of getting into that I never really messed with is tabletop simulator. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's uh, Seems like a good time for that. Yeah. There's probably a lot of stuff in the Steam Workshop that you could use to play that sort of stuff. I know people came up with all kinds of uh ip they didn't own to add to that workshop so that you could just bootleg tabletop games because that's a booming industry no I, whatever yeah that's yeah that that thing always seemed kind of cool um and uh bobo domingo asks was voice chat a thing on pc before xbox live if so was it toxic back then any fond original xbox live memories there was definitely voice chat on pc I don't know that it was great. Uh, you know, the, I remember getting a game in the original GameSpot office called Fire Team, and it was like this top-down, team-based, vaguely tactical shooter. Uh, and it came with like really shitty headsets uh, that was you were meant to plug in and, and play the game with by talking to the people on your team, and it never happened. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. It existed, but I feel like a lot of the codecs were clunky. It wasn't until you had external apps like, well, like, you know, running a team speak or mumble server or something like that, that I feel yeah. like that stuff became a vent. Yeah. Like, vent. A hot, a hot ventrilo. That hot ventrilo. Everyone's that everyone's talking about. Um, I think that's going to do it for the show. Yeah, I'm going to get to work on uh, figuring out a caller solution for next week, ideally. Yeah, yeah, it'd be great to get uh, some other voices back in here, get some of those voicemails that I'm sure are piling up. If you want to leave a voicemail, dial 707-EXIT-FLU. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, and uh, yeah, we'll have, if we get Discord up and running next week, we'll have information about how to do that as well. And, uh, yeah, I think that's going to do it for us here today everyone have a tremendous day um i'll be back on the internet tomorrow with some more video games or now well, we'll see maybe tomorrow's the day i get out in my garage i just need some time to to figure out how i'm gonna how i'm gonna get a camera out there and some other stuff and uh go through some boxes i gotta i gotta sort some stuff so uh everyone take care out there and we'll see you next week or tomorrow as the case may be which is next week in a lot of ways <laughs> See you then. Drop it, drop it, drop it. Bye, Ben. I'm hanging out on you. Drop it, 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 drop All right, y'all. Um, that's going to do it. Have yourself a tremendous Tuesday. Um, you know, stay safe out there. I'm going to go uh, disinfect some cardboard, I think. It's probably on the agenda for today. And uh, yeah, stay uh, stay safe out there. I'll see you.